Up next now, we have Laura Harbinson. She is the broker owner of Realty Executives Southern Nevada Properties. So great to have you on the show. Great to be here, Amy. Thank you. You're known as an expert there in the Vegas area, and so you always give great information when you're on the show. I want to dive in now and ask you, when buyers are making an offer on a home, what are some of the common contingencies that the sellers can be prepared and expect to see? Well, common contingencies would include contingencies about financing, the buyer being able to get a loan, uh, the appraisal for the property. The lender is typically going to have a, an appraisal to make sure that the property either meets or exceeds the sales price. Uh, HOA resale package is a big one in Nevada. The buyer gets a five-day contingency to review all of the homeowners association documents uh, to make sure that they're okay joining that homeowners association. Uh, it's typically contingent upon the seller being able to provide clear title to the buyer and also on a home inspection to verify the condition of the property. So that's pretty much what they can really look out for and expect and not panic, right? You see sometimes people may just be like, what, what is this? And helping understand that probably is a big deal. I know that sometimes when it comes to the sale and the home inspection aspect, that can sometimes really hurt a transaction. How do you help prepare a homeowner uh, regarding the home inspection so that maybe they can minimize some of that risk? I always tell them to look at their home very objectively. Pretend you're the buyer and walk through the house and look at things that you don't normally think about or look at, such as check all your windows, make sure that you don't have any cracked or broken windows, uh, any broken window seals, uh, you know how you get that fogging between the window panes, sometimes that's because the seal's been broken and moisture's gotten in there and that needs to be fixed. Uh, check the exterior of the property, see if there's any peeling paint anywhere, uh, make sure there's no exposed wood on the exterior of the property. Uh, double check the roof. Now you may have to have someone come and help you with that. Uh, just because the roof isn't leaking doesn't mean that there aren't any cracked or slipped roof tiles that could lead to a future leak that might scare a buyer. Uh, take a close look at your air conditioning unit um, and that would be both visually and for function. So double check to make sure there's no debris all around it. You know, is it looking all rusted out and all, you know, sometimes they don't, even though they're functioning fine, they don't look very good. Mm -hmm. uh, so clean mm -hmm. them up the best that you can. Uh, it's a good idea to have the air conditioning and heating service prior to putting your home up for sale to make sure there's no issues that you didn't know about. Uh, double check your irrigation for your landscaping. Make sure that's all functioning properly. Uh, double check your garage door. You know, when your garage door goes up and down, does it go up and down smoothly? Are the sensors working properly, the safety sensors? That's a big one that we see come up a lot because people don't think about it. They're pulling in and out of their garage and they don't typically test things like that. Um, double check your water heater. Is your water heater leaking? Is it working properly? Does it is it up to code? Does it have the seismic straps on it that are now required? Uh, double check around your bathrooms. Double check your caulking around your bathtubs, your showers. Uh, look for leaks, look for plumbing leaks, check underneath your sinks, etc. Make sure you don't have a dripping faucet or a dripping shower head. Um, go through the property and look and make sure all your light bulbs are working. You don't want someone to think that you have a fixture that's broken just because a light bulb was burned out. Or maybe you thought the light bulb was burned out and it actually was a short in the fixture, so you need to double check that. Um, also double check your toilets, make sure that uh, when, they, when they're done flushing that the water quits running, having a bad flush kit where the water runs continuously, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a pretty common thing to come up on a home inspection. Uh, a lot of these things seem like really small little things, but when you add them all together, it could scare the buyer off. They could see this as you know, the property not being properly maintained. Uh, the other issue too is they could use it for leverage to try to renegotiate the price with you and a few hundred dollars in repairs might end up costing you thousands of dollars on your sale price. So it's a good idea to double check these things in advance. And if you're concerned that you may not be able to identify them, there's no higher harm in hiring your own home inspector to come through before listing and double check and give you a little punch list that you can take care of before going on the market. That is such great advice. And I was going to touch on that and say, you know, if somebody really feels they're concerned, bring in a home inspector. And I love how you're just helping people to be proactive in that. Really can make a difference in the transaction going smooth and probably save them a lot of money. So I love that you brought that up. Speaking of a property that probably already took your advice, sellers that did the right thing and they're ready to go, why don't you share with us the listing you have? 
Um, yes, this property is at 9663 Silver City Drive. It's in the gated community of Stone Canyon. Uh, Stone Canyon does have a fitness facility and a pool. Uh, it's a two-story townhome, 1,321 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. It does have an attached one-car garage. It's a great property at 252500 Oh, Laura, it was so great to talk to you today. Thanks for being such a wonderful expert for us on the show, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're watching The American Dream.